I'm interested in Rodman and Beck. Um, this is going to be the start of a new video that I'm going to be doing a rebuild of some fishing rods I picked up at a, at a yard sale. So um, they're all production rods and I'm going to strip them down and customize them. So um, see how this goes. Um, first step is I'm going to take off the, the grips in the real seat and um, I'll show you the process that I go through for that. Uh, so it'll be at least one video and then probably have subsequent ones of taking off the guides and such. So uh, see how it goes. All right, so these are the two rods I'm going to start with. Uh, this is a jawbone, which I guess you can get at Dick's. Uh, it's got a little split grip, so I'll be taking off the grips there for that. I'm um, taking off the hook keeper and then the, the first guide. And over here I have a, a Daiwa uh, Samurai that you can also get at Dick's. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these in some boiling water and see how hard they are to get off. Um, I had some that worked very well and some that didn't. So I took the guides, uh, the, or the initial guide off of the of the rods. And here you see my uh, my thing of water. I'm waiting for it to boil. So then I'm just going to take take the rods, put them in the water, and as it boils, it should allow me to take those off. They're going to be a little bit difficult because it's they're a little bit bigger, but um, let's see how it goes. All right, so you can see that the water is just getting close to boiling. I'm just going to leave this in room long enough to where it comes to a, a, a decent boil, and I'm going to uh, break out the, the oven mitt and try to rip off the, the rear grips with that. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll have to break out the new nose pliers and uh, force it off. All right, so you see here, I got the, the winding check at least a little loose, so that's it will come off. And then hopefully I'll get some water underneath here and be able to get this off a little bit better. But this one's coming along okay, I guess. Um, the other one isn't budding very much at all, so I'll probably have to force that one off. All right, so for the other rod, what I forgot to do is I forgot to take off the threads here. Once I did that, it loosened them up. I was able to move the back winding check off. So then I'll have to do the same thing up here. Take off these threads and then that should be able to come off. Then we'll focus on that. Uh, real seat, I think I'm gonna have to just rip off. Uh, up here, you see, I it's able to start to loosen a little bit. So maybe a couple more dunks in the boiling water will help. And you can see where the um, hook keeper was and that's gone. All right, so I made a little more progress here. You see, I got this off, or well, moved down more. So I got the glue off of there, so that's it, I'm gonna move a little more. So I'm gonna put this back on the water, see if a little bit further. You can see here on the jawbone is able to get the foregrip gone, moving. And I got the rear split grip off. So those are at least usable. Uh, this part, I'm not so sure about this. This is probably a goner. And then once I get this off, I can get the winding checks off of here. So I'll just take this all off. So that's that. And as you can see on this one here, this isn't, this didn't budge. Cork started falling apart. So that's gonna have to be a Dremel completely. So this is gonna be all, all trash. All right, so that's step one of the rebuild project. Um, like you saw on the one rod, it came off fairly easy for the most part. So I have to use the Dremel to complete that. And the other one, that's, <laughs> it wouldn't budge. So that one was actually glued on pretty good. So we'll Dremel on that one. Um, and then the next video, I'll show the next steps. So this is only step one. And then um, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna design it or anything like that, or any of the three colors. So um, if anybody has any input, Leave a comment below and uh, thanks for watching.